joined well by Tiger Air who are using for the very first time some super high-tech material for its hairspring, something that has been applied for an industrial produced uh, collection. Let's check it out. Otavia is a very important name for us. It started in 1933, so it's one of the oldest names in watchmaking. Uh, and it was named for um, automobiles and aviation. Um, what's new about the watch is uh, the technology we use in it. For example, the turning bezel designed by Jack Hoyo is now made out of ceramic, so it's scratch-proof. It will keep the watch looking good for years to come. The Arabic numerals taken from the dashboard chronographs are now made of uh, super thick superluminova super blocks which give a 3D look to the dial by day and they really shine at night. If you look at the uh, strap, which is quite uh, retro in feel, it's actually quite modern, has a very simple to use quick release system, which lets you go from a metal strap to a leather strap to a NATO in seconds. So also something for, for today's customer. Uh, maybe the most exciting part of the watch, uh, which you can see from the outside, is what we call our isograph technology. This is a new hairspring technology developed in-house, and it's the biggest single change to traditional um, regulating organs since the 1600s. And we make it in-house out of carbon. It's a carbon composite of carbon nanotubes and amorphous carbon. So we have the rigidity of the nanotubes blended with the plastic properties of the amorphous carbon. And we design the hairspring in-house using in-house um, computer software to develop the perfect hairspring to mate with our balance wheel, which in this case is made out of aluminum. It's temperature proof. It, it reacts, uh, it pairs perfectly at all temperatures. Often they beat in a bit of a lopsided way. Here they're perfectly concentric. Uh, the carbon itself is extremely light. It's lighter than any other material used in hairsprings, which means that it's, it resists impact and vibration very well. It's a bit the difference between a steel ball and a feather. One of them is much more um, influenced by gravity, by impact, um, by vibration. It's amagnetic, so it's not influenced by magnetic fields. Uh, so in short, it's a great material for a hairspring. This is the first time that a non-metallic substance has been used in hairsprings in watchmaking. Um, but also, this, co this composite can only be made in two ovens, which are both found at Teg Hoyer in La chaux -de So this is a hair hairspring that uh, we will see throughout the, the, the collections? It's a hairspring that we could see throughout the collections. It's a hairspring that we will use depending on strategy per family, um, per price point and so on. But uh, it's something that we are able to make in sufficient quantities, if that's the question. Uh, and we just need to decide where to use it and how to use it. Well, we start at 3,400 Swiss francs with a steel case and steel bezel. We move up to 3,500 with a ceramic bezel. Um, to 3,750 with the with the steel strap, ceramic bezel, which also comes with a NATO strap. These uh, these um, straps you can also change in instantly. And uh, at the top end of this uh, of this family, we have our bronze pieces at 4,200 francs. Here we have a three-handed version, yes. uh, but is the chrono uh, will come soon? That's uh, that's a total surprise. But of course, uh, at some point we'll have a more complete collection, um, and even the isograph technology that that I just explained. Um, we introduced in a limited uh, edition piece called the Carrara Hoyo 02 Tourbillon Nanograph earlier this year as a proof of concept, so 500 pieces using the same technology but in a different hairspring and a different balance wheel in our chronograph tourbillon. So the technology is transferable to different movements and uh, the first proof of that is that we've gone to the tourbillon to a three-hand movement and in the future, yes, you will definitely be seeing more of Otavia.